Hey, anywhere in the world you can put up an office, you can make games. And we're making our game here in Tokyo. I'm Matt Smith. I'm the producer and programmer here at Friend of the Foe. There are seven of us. We have Vic, who's in Sweden, character artist and a character programmer. Ivar is the game director for Vane. Rasmus is our art director. Alex, narrative designer. Thomas, founder, and he also makes our audio. And Eduardo, who's a concept artist. Vane is a minimalistic exploration mystery game. It's a game about unraveling the mystery of the world and why you're in it. We're at the end of pre-production, so that means that we've just finished defining exactly what the game is supposed to be from beginning to end. I mean, I think what makes Vane special, you know, the reason that I'm willing to put two years of my life into it is that it's a rare type of game, I think. It's very much about exploring this world and understanding it and trying to find what secrets lie in its hidden quarters. We're trusting the player to be able to explore the environment that we build for them. That sort of respect for your audience is something that you can't find at a large game company. Large companies that hold IP want to have repeatable, bankable, predictable successes. That means changing as little of the formula as you can, basically not trying to say anything new. There's just different models of looking at the world. Like, I feel that there's less and less room to not risk part of yourself in your job. We're baking out little pieces of ourselves for this, and that's ultimately what people are going to be buying. If we're not baking out the best pieces of ourselves, it's kind of a scary thought. Whether it succeeds or fails, it's all on your shoulders. So it's up to us. But we wouldn't be in this position with our own company running a non-trivial risk of financial ruin if we didn't want to make the game that we're making. But I kind of hope that we keep pushing ourselves into uncomfortable territory, because that's sort of to me, part of the fun. It's okay that not everything is figured out in black and white beforehand, because we trust each other enough to know that when things get hard, we're gonna to pull together and do the work that has to be done. I can't stress enough how much respect I have for the people I work with and, and how talented I think they are and, and how much we're riding on that, banking on that, to deliver something that's really amazing. We're in a position now where computing devices are getting more and more powerful, and this has led to an explosion of tools that just make it much, much easier to make games. When I got into this business 13 years ago, the only way you could make a game was to have a huge team behind you. The idea that you could be making a game, especially the kind of game we're making with Vane, with four artists and two programmers, would have been nonsense 10 years ago. Being able to make the games you want on your own terms, that's the dream for us.